Welcome to Coding Bat video number seven. I'm Nick Parlante, I run Coding Bat. And in this video, I wanna talk about the solution to the famous make bricks problem. Famous to me anyway. Um, the make bricks problem is, uh, you know, I've probably received more email about this <laughs> over the years. Um, and there's a separate video just uh, introducing the make bricks problem. And there's also a page here about um, explaining the mod operator. So those provide background. Um, in this video, I just wanna walk through basically how to think about solving it. Um, so here's the uh, make bricks problem. And then also there's this make chocolate problem, which is similar, but a little bit more difficult. Uh, so there's lots of ways to solve the makes bricks, uh, make bricks problem. And I would say anything that does not use iteration is really fine. Now, sometimes for code problems, there's a short solution. And sometimes there just isn't, right? You could drive yourself crazy trying, you know, maybe it really just requires 10 lines. Uh, that said, it turns out for make bricks, there really is a very short solution. Um, so the two ideas I'm gonna use here is, uh, first off, I'm gonna use mod to figure out how many small bricks are needed. Um, and just for, for me, I think it's easier to think about cases where the goal is not possible uh, than to try and think about where the ways that the goal is possible. Um, so I'll sort of walk through, I'm gonna think about solving this. Um, so. I'm gonna, I wanna, what I wanna do is think about ways that it is not possible to achieve the goal. And I'm just gonna try and take them uh, one at a time. So I think the simplest way to fail is that there's just not enough bricks. That if you took all the bricks you had and you lined them up, it's less than the goal. That just seems like a simple, clearly not possible kind of way. So let, let's try that. So here's, uh, here's the make brick problem. So we, we're giving, uh, given small and big and we try and wanna reach goal. So the way I'm gonna structure this is I'm gonna say, well, if, uh, you know, I'm gonna look for forms of failure. So sort of what I'm saying here is like, well, fail number one is just like not enough. We just don't have enough bricks at all. So I'll say, if the goal is larger than, what's just the total amount that we have? And I would say that that is, it's big times five plus small. That's like, just line everything up we have. And if the goal is bigger than that, then it's just clearly not possible. So I'm gonna say return false. And here, I'll just put return true at the bottom. And I'm, as I said, I'm gonna try and think about the different forms of failure and I'll return false. And then if we get to the bottom, we'll say return true. So let's just try this. So already this does like a pretty decent job. Um, so then the cases we're missing, I assume have to do with the, uh, the small bricks, which I haven't really dealt with yet. So I'm gonna hit the back button here for a second. Look at my outline. Um, so the other way that this could fail is if there's just not enough small bricks to make up that last little bit. Um, and really the way to compute that is goal mod five. Um, so for example, if the goal is 16, then I need one small brick, or at least one small brick. And if the goal is 19, then I would need at least four small bricks. Um, so it just happens the mod operator gives us that last little bit. Um, so I'm gonna think about how to fail that way. So I'll say fail number two is not, a, not enough small bricks. So I would say, well, if, um, what was it? Goal mod five, so that's the number of small ones I need is bigger than small. So for example, if the goal is 18, so then that in case, that case, uh, goal mod five is three. So we're saying I need three mod, but really the number of small bricks I have is two, then it's just not possible. So I'm gonna say return false. Uh, all right, so let's try it. So actually, that does it. Um, really what this is saying, well, I, you know, I've talked about, well, here's two ways that you could fail. And I think, you know, taken individually, they're not that bad to think about. Uh, but it turns out those really are the only two ways. Um, if small and big are enough to get past those two, then like, that's enough. Um, so you could, you know, sort of crunch this down to just be one line, but I, I think writing it this way is fine. And I, I like that I can have comments sort of explaining to myself. I can sort of remember what was I doing, what I was doing for each one of those lines. Um, so I don't know if there's a, I can draw a big philosophical conclusion about how to think about this problem. Um, I would say that if I just tried to think about the whole make bricks problem at once, and the different ways to put the bricks together, whatever, it's just a little, it's, it's too much, too much for me to do in my head. Um, so I would say what's going on here is I was, I isolated down to just one quality at a time. And I would say this fits the classical 
divide and conquer strategy. And this works pretty nicely uh, for code. If it's just too baffling all at once, try and sort of isolate, well, there's this one way, this other way. And sort of if we could come up with enough ways that cover all the cases, then eventually that, that's going to make up a whole solution. So that's, uh, that's one lesson of the, uh, the lovely make bridge problem. Um, as I said, there's also this uh, make chocolate problem. So uh, you can maybe give that one a shot. All right, keep on practicing.